All right, so the NEWS2 score is the National Early Warning Score 2 and is the updated version of the original NEWS score released in 2012. So what does the NEWS2 score tell us exactly and how do we use that score? Essentially, the NEWS2 score is a scoring system that allocates a score to a patient based on six physiological parameters that are then a measure of risk in a deteriorating patient. This is the chart that summarizes the six parameters that I mentioned that go into the NEWS2 score. The first is the respiratory rate, and the second is the oxygen saturation. You might have noticed that there are two scales for the oxygen saturation, and we'll get into why that is a little bit later on. The third is the systolic blood pressure, and fourth is the heart rate. Then we have consciousness and maybe a new confusion, and finally, temperature. This is the chart that is used to actually record these parameters in a given patient. And as you can see, it follows the A to E assessment that is widely used worldwide. If you want to see a more detailed overview of the A to E assessment, I'll leave a link to my video in the top right corner. So we go through these parameters, which should be taken daily or even more frequently in most patients, and then we sum up the scores. So as we mentioned, there are two scales for the oxygen saturation. The first scale is the most common, the one that you'll use most commonly. And this is because that is the scale that is applied to most people with a normal oxygen saturation target range. The second scale is used in patients who have a different oxygen saturation target, such as patients with hypercapnic respiratory failure. Something else you may have noticed is that patients receiving oxygen actually receive an additional two points to their NEWS2 score because of this compared to patients that don't receive oxygen therapy. One last thing to mention before we get onto the sums is the CVPU that you may have seen in the consciousness section. Now, AVPU is a way of measuring consciousness quickly, where A means that the patient is fully awake or alert, V means that the patient is responding to voice, and P means that they are responding to pain, while U means unresponsive. The C was added in the NEWS2 score, and stands for either confusion or altered consciousness. Okay, so what do the totals actually mean? A total score of one to four means that the patient is low risk. This means that they will need monitoring at least once every four to six hours, and they will need an assessment from a registered nurse who will then decide whether or not to escalate. If a patient has a score of three in any one single parameter, that automatically makes them a low to medium risk patient, and this means that monitoring should be carried out at least once per hour. It also means that a registered nurse should inform the medical team who will then perform a review and will then decide if the patient needs escalating. Patients are considered a medium risk if they score five or above. Again, the monitoring here should be at least once every hour. The clinical response for patients scoring above five is that a nurse must inform the medical team and should request an urgent assessment of the patient by a clinician or a team who deal with acutely unwell patients. A score of five or higher must also warrant an investigation of sepsis, especially if the patient is showing signs of an infection. Finally, we have scores of seven or above. These patients require an emergency response. They will require continuous monitoring of the vital signs and the medical team should be immediately informed, ideally to specialty registrar level. An emergency assessment by a critical care team should be carried out as well as consideration of transferring the patient to the ICU.